Have you ever wondered what makes one kind of soccer ball, golf ball, or football fly through the air better than another one? Well, a material scientist works with all kinds of materials to come up with new ways to make sports equipment better and to keep you safe. A material scientist may work with metals, they may work with natural materials such as wood or fibers, they might work with plastics. What we're trying to do uh, in my laboratory is study different types of plastic and how they could be used in different types of sporting materials. You're probably familiar with different types of plastic like plastic toys. And plastics are composed of what we call polymers, poly which means many, and myrmids which means units. And so we can start with individual units which are called monomers, which I'm representing here by these pieces of Mardi Gras beads. And we can combine these together to form long chain-like structures that kind of look like cooked spaghetti. So this necklace, if you see, is made up of our individual unit that we've just repeated a number of times. Huh? If we take individual monomers, they tend to be attractive to one another. They want to stick together. Now when you take these monomers and create a polymer, there's a lot of these different interactions, so they become even stickier to one another. Here I have a solution of polyvinyl alcohol. So if I can get a microscope and look really, really close, I would see chains of polymers swirling around inside. So these are individual chains inside solution. So these polymers that are in solution can swirl around nice and free. So there's a compound that I could add that would take these chains and make one chain connect to another chain. So inside, these chains are starting to come together. You can't see this with the naked eye, but if I had a microscope, you can see that the chains are getting longer. The solution is becoming a little thicker. That means that chains of polymers are starting to entangle. And so if I add more, the chains become really large and I form something that looks like this. So the more cross-linker I add, the stiffer the material becomes. Why would a scientist be interested in linking two or more chains together? I may be interested in using it for a material that would make a great ball or a slime for a kid to play with. It's almost between a rubber and a gel. The challenge of material science is to try to make materials that are more lightweight and stronger than materials that are currently used. Huh? What? Not all foams are the same. If you are riding a bicycle, Oop. Oh, no. hopefully you're going to be wearing a helmet. Helmets for bicycles are designed so that the helmet breaks apart, so that all of the impact from the crash goes into the helmet and not into your head, which is how it protects you. But if you think about a football play, you don't want to go into a tackle and then have the helmet shatter. <laughs> you want the helmet to rebound to where it was before. To do that, we can go all the way back to the individual monomer units and change the monomer units, which is going to allow us to change the type of polymer we have, which is going to allow us to change the type of foam we have. 